In this video, we're just going to have some fun playing around uh, with substitu aromatic substitution reactions in Oscar Sin. So let's just explore the breadth of these reactions. So I got a benzene here. Let me just go up and grab some reagents. Let's let's start off with some easy stuff. We'll just do uh, bromination. This one's this one's easy now. We all know how to do this. So we need our iron catalyst. Add some bromine, and of course, it's a simple bromination. Uh, straightforward enough. Uh, more fun than that is the Friedel-Crafts reaction. So for the Friedel-Crafts reactions, we need uh, aluminum trichloride uh, uh, catalyst. Uh, what compound shall we add? How about a uh, how about a good old friend propyl chloride? That's where everybody starts. So we'll add the propyl group here. Ah, uh, I didn't draw that very well. I'm gonna redraw it. Okay, Oscar straightened it out for me. And of course, we get a rearrangement because you can't have a primary carbocation, and so that 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 uh, is a good starting point for bringing in the acylation. So if we do the same reaction, uh, but with the acyl uh, propyl, um, the the acid chloride of propionic acid, uh, which is the acyl compound. Let me let me uh, uh, actually copy this because I'm lazy. Uh, so now we have an acid chloride. If we do the reaction now, uh, of course there is no rearrangement, but, we're, but on the other hand, we don't have the alkyl compound. We needed to reduce this. So Oscar has a couple reducing agents. You could either use um, the Clemson redu reduction, which is the zinc, zinc, uh, mercury, uh, this one down here, or you could go up here on the menu and find the Wolf Kishner. Let's let's use the zinc one. This is the Clemson, Clemson, and so uh, try that one and we should get reduction compound. Let me just move that a little bit so you can see the uh, reagent a little bit better. So uh, this this shows you a general idea. Of course, once you have these things, you can do more uh, chemistry. What if we do our bromination now? So uh, let me come back and grab bromine again. Okay, uh, here's, here's the iron uh, bromide. Uh, BR, BR, and uh, Press the magic button, and uh, what do we get? Well, we get a mixture of ortho and para isomers. Now, Oscar, when it draws these out, it's predicting that it drew the, drew the para one first, so it's predicting that you get more para than ortho, uh, and and that's probably correct. Um, uh, but uh, it's 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 nothing exact about these uh, uh, calculations. And of course, if we um, do this up here. Uh, we uh, should get something similar, and uh, and what do we get? What do we get? Oscar's thinking. Ah, uh, again, all the ones off the screen. So uh, it has the pair isomer that this would be the ortho off the screen over here. I should have moved it over. So if I make that smaller and center, uh, you can see uh, the ortho one off off the screen. Now, of course, if you if you do it down here with the acyl one, though, we're going to get something different. So, what are we going to get down here if we do a bromination? So, because this is a meta uh, director, so what are we going to get from here? We better get the meta compound, or I've got a lot of explaining to do. It's taking his time. No reaction. Oh, I didn't put in the bromine. Why did you tell me? Silly me. Now let me try it. Poor Oscar. I can't do can't do chemistry without the reagent. Okay, come on. You can do it. Ah, there it is. And uh, make it just a tad smaller. So this is now uh, the meta isomer. So anyway, you can just you can just play with this stuff, do kinds of crazy things. Shall we? Shall we uh, do something else down here? What do we we got this propyl compound? What what can what can I add? Let's do something different. Let's do a nitration. Uh, here's nitration, nitric acid, sulfuric acid uh, mix. So bring this in down here. And uh, allow allow that one to happen. So let's see what goes on. And we should get a nitro compound. Thinking, thinking, thinking. It's running out of time. Wait a minute. I got to tell it to wait. There we go. And again, we get a mixture of the ortho and the para. Okay. Let me just uh, arbitrarily delete uh, the ortho. I want to do one more. Well, actually, I deleted the wrong one. Uh, let's go, let's 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 um, 
Let me do that again. Um, let that. It's thinking. It's thinking. It takes it takes a while. I got, Oscar, Oscar is too dumb to know that it's already calculated some of these again. So it's actually calculating the whole thing uh, over again. So um, let me. Um, oh, I didn't. I, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to uh, delete this one. Okay, and now let's do bromination down here. And the question is, um, where is the bromine going to go? Oh, sorry, didn't mean to do that. I want the, uh, go back and get our first bromine. So where is the bromine going to go? Well, this is actually pretty easy to figure out because uh, the propyl group down here is orthopara directing, but of course the para always has a nitro group. Uh, so it has to go ortho, and that's consistent with the nitro group, which is meta-directing. So it certainly better show up uh, next to that phenyl green. And uh, I think we better stop here because poor, ortho, ortho, uh, poor Oscar is uh, losing its mind. And uh, it's again, it's telling me it, it was uh, the browser was asking me if I wanted to continue. I just said yes. Ah, there it is. So that's that's doing pretty good. Uh, and so that that's a good indication of some of the games that you can uh, play with this and uh, You can you know do your syntheses this way and uh, just or just play around and see see what kind of reactions you can do